the preparation this pre-season has probably been a little bit different for me. Um, on, on past season where I obviously missed a few games in and out with a few um, soft tissue sort of niggles. So we've monitored um, my output throughout the pre-season to make sure that I'm, I'm hitting those markers so I'm ready to go um, preparation wise and, and making sure that I'm hitting the kilometres that I have to and um, I feel like I'm in really good shape and um, set myself up to, to play every game this year. The camp in Tasmania was um, good, for, good for our group I think. Going away as a group, um, we only sort of had a little short period together um, pre-Christmas, so to spend a week together and, and live in each other's pockets was good. It, it sort of built relationships. We obviously shared rooms with each other, we shared experiences, and I think that's been a really key focus for us this year, is getting to know each other on a deeper level, and I think you appreciate each other a lot more, and everyone has a different story to tell. Everyone's came, come here differently, and. Um, the more you know about each other and um, the more respect you have for each other and I think that's a big thing for us this year, we, we really respect each other a lot more and um, I think it can only hold us in good stead to play better footy out there and have good out, output out on the, on the ground. It's, it's the commitment that you put in and um, I had a lot of work to do to, to get my aerobic uh, capacity up to where it had to be to, to compete at the high level and compete for four quarters. So I went away, did a, a fair bit of training and, and made sure that my body was um, able to play 22 games first and foremost, but run run from um, the first first minute of the game to the last minute of the game. And I feel like I've probably put in the hard yards um, this year and, and taken that to another level. So I can't wait to get out there and, and have a run around and, and and really compete against the best again and, and see how far we can go as a footy club. The supplement intake that we um, go through is a, probably a different, more different and more heavy process than the, the average person out there. So INC obviously um, supply us with our, our product and then we sit down with the dietitian, work through where you're at in your career. So what a first year is having will be different to for me since who's been in the system for this is my ninth year now so um, you sit with a dietitian go through um, where your bodies are what what you need to do what your focuses are whether you want to put on muscle or you want to put on size or you need to maintain your weight or you need to lose weight and um, whether you're flat going into sessions or you're up and about so there's a, there's a wide range of products um, obviously out on the market but INC supply us with some really good products and you sit down with the dietitian and work out what's best for you and um, you have your opinion, she has yours and, and you meet in the middle somewhere. I'm probably around gyms and, and sessions, um, I'm probably one of the ones that sort of needs to maintain that weight, not, not one that needs to put on weight or um, I've probably lost a little bit this year so um, I use a WPI to, to give me those um, muscle gains, um, I'm not one that needs a lot of carbs and so on because I seem to carry it a bit more than, than the average so the, the protein intake is important for me and, and making sure that we hit those markers day in day out to give me the best chance to, to perform but also to recover post sessions. The commitments you make off the ground um, correlate to, to good output out on the field.